Hey loves, welcome back to the channel. My name is Taylor. If you're new here, welcome. So in today's vlog, it's going to be a fun vlog. So really this is like a, this vlog is going to be like a two day kind of thing because I'm starting on like a Friday night. Um, but basically this is going to be a really fun one because I'm going to be like dressing up and as you all can tell from the thumbnail, I'm doing some, I'm having a pink moment. So, um, what's on the agenda for this vlog is number one the behind the scenes of dyeing the hair and then also i believe i'm going to do like a little a little cute photo shoot so i'm going to show y'all behind the scenes on that and then probably like some self skincare shopping and and i don't know the rest is to really be determined yeah first things first i'm about to um get the hair together i'm gonna like bleach my knots and all that good stuff. I'm not going to show that in this vlog because I am going to be posting some of this content onto like TikTok, Real. If you're interested in seeing like some of like the details on the hair and stuff like that, be sure to follow your girl at Taylor Rain. All right, so I have the colors I'm going to be using for the wig. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm going to be doing pink petal, pink rose because this is an ombre wig. I don't think I expressed that, but I'm taking a moment to express that now. Fiesta Punch. And I gotta show y'all my inspiration. So I don't know about y'all, but I have albums saved, like folders saved for different things I get inspired by. So I saved, I have a hair inspo folder. And this is what I was inspired by to do this wig. Well, this is a combination of things really. So this particular video gave me the inspiration for like what colors to use for this wig and like the method to go by. Oh, she was cotton candy. I got two pink petals, damn. So I should've got a pink petal and a cotton candy instead of two pink petals. Mm -hmm. So it, it might come out slightly different than the way this girl's wig came out. But nonetheless, that's my inspiration. And then I gotta show y'all my ultimate inspiration. Oh, here it is. This is what I really, really, really want my wig to come out like. It may come out slightly different and I'm okay with that, but this is who I was truly inspired by. I forgot to mention, this is also the wig that my boyfriend got me. If you watched my last vlog, my Valentine's Day dinner vlog, and we exchanged gifts and he got me this little blonde bob. I don't think I pulled it out. Or I think I did pull it out, but y'all gonna see it regardless. Um, and so in the video, I was like, I got plans for this. Like, this is exactly what I was thinking when I said I got plans for this. And I, I'm about to execute it, basically. So it's the next day and this is the last, This it's the next day and this is the last time the vlog is going to be seeing me like this and I mean like with my passion twist because I'm getting ready to take these out to wash my hair and get it braided and stuff like that. But I just wanted to show y'all. So this is how the wig turned out and it looks so much better in person. Like you can truly see the ombre in it and I love it. I love it so much. So I can't wait to wear this. I'm gonna be putting this on. Also show y'all my fit. So I, I didn't explain this last night. So I am kind of gonna do like a little photo shoot where I, I'm i doing like this Mean Girls 2000s, 2004, 2000, whatever, the Mean Girls movie came out aesthetic for my photo shoot. 
and it really was just like a spur of the moment thing i thought you know this is a moment that i can really build upon and why not just take some pictures my boyfriend is um a photographer so um he's always happy to get some type of like you know he's always happy to just test his skills and continue practicing so i figured this would be the perfect thing for us like it's a mutually beneficial thing right now so i want to show y'all like the fit that i'm going to put together for my little aesthetic okay so this is the top that i got i got this from marshall's and i really wanted like a pink top that kind of looks like what was popular back then and then i got like the little mini skirt and this is a skirt i actually tried on in my aliexpress haul but don't worry about this little m it's going to be covered i hope but this is like a little pink crop top and then I think I'm going to pair it with these square toe heels and I may change into another outfit as well when I do this photo shoot but this is definitely going to be like the main look and this is what is going to be seen on my Instagram like when, even when I just take selfies like I feel like this is a moment I'm really going to like elevate on I'm excited for that and then I want to show y'all the sunglasses that I'm going to wear with it as well to really just pull it all together I also got these shoes from AliExpress um the little square toe and I figured like this is like the best way to make it look I don't know, this is like my modern 2000s, this is my modern Mean Girls rendition because, you know, the movie came out in the early 2000s and that's when, like, you know, Mini Skirts were popular and wearing pink and I'm really just kind of, like, elevating on that on Wednesdays we wear a pink moment that happened in the movie and then, of course, like, you know, picking, you know, of course, like, the little sling back, not sling back, the little slip-in kitten heels or whatever were popular, so this is the closest I have to it, so I'm going to be wearing these. Like nothing is complete without the little sunglasses so i got the square sunglasses that like you know obviously are like giving vintage vibes because this was like you know this style was really popular in the early 2000s as well so i thought let me get some of these and i got these from amazon so i'm gonna be like this is a full fit and then also and i feel like y'all might think i'm doing too much with this fit but like it's a it's a vibe is gonna come together it's really hard to like, you know, show everything in its entirety and bring everything into fruition at this moment. But basically this is my Brandon Blackwood bag. I'm gonna place it with as well. Even though I don't, even though I think like the aesthetic for this time was like the purse that you like wear on your arm. I didn't have like a purse that like I thought matched this aesthetic in that style. But I thought also it was an opportunity to finally do something with this bag. I, I purchased this bag like two or three months ago. And I haven't done anything with it. I haven't worn it out. haven't took pictures with it, posed with it. So I thought, okay, this is going to come together. So this really just might be outfit one. I might do a change of outfit too. I'm not going to bring that out right now because I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with that yet. But I'm so excited. I'm excited. And so when I do the hair portion of everything, that's going to be like a little TikTok slash reel. And like I said last night, if y'all want to see like the details on that, definitely follow me at Taylor Rain to see all of that good stuff. I don't think I'm going to do makeup. I think I'm just going to strictly focus on hair. Definitely not going to do makeup. Strictly going to focus on hair. so guys it's the next day and i feel like i have to start off my intro to my vlog like that every time because i just like don't be completing you know whatever scenes in my vlogs but basically yeah guys it's the next day and i'm about to head to sephora and ulta because i really want to hit up sephora to see if they have more of the um if they have the fenty skin i want more of their um spf moisturizer like that's one of the best 
moisturizers that's one of the best spf moisturizer i've ever tried because typically they leave like a white cast but not this one this one smells really good and it just like really makes your skin glow so i want more of that like i need another refill and i don't feel like ordering online because i don't want to pay for shipping for just two items i mean the stuff is already kind of costly so i need a refill on that and then i also want to see if they have their new under eye cream i really like the way fenty skin works for my skin i know a lot of people didn't like it because it was fragranted but it worked for me so i'm gonna head to sephora and ulta just to see what they have as well because i need some more um i use a cleansing balm like a like a makeup melting balm i think it's what it's called to take off my makeup and i i was using the glow recipe one which is also really pricey and i i don't know i'm i'm not really prepared to blow a bag today i'm just trying to like re-up on some important things so i want to see what both sephora and ulta has but i'm really like pressed for time because it closed at six and it's almost five and i don't live far from a sephora and ulta but that means i got to be like in and out when i go in both of those stores and i want to vlog it so i like don't want it to feel rushed so I'm gonna, that's what I'm doing today and that's gonna pretty much like complete the vlog. And then I wanna, but first before I go, I wanna give myself a protein shake. And low key this, I know like in my last vlog, I was, I went to Starbucks and I got that drink. I kinda wanna feature more of that because I think fun drinks are just everything to me. So I am about to make this, I'm about to make my rendition of like a banana cinnamon frappuccino, but more like a protein shake. So I'm about to make that, I'm gonna show y'all and then we're gonna head out.